County Road Department, in my opinion, was trying to level every hill and straighten every curve and take away what really made Sussex County interesting and different, the hills, the curves, the valleys, and all of those things. We had an original project in 1993 that we had to, uh, could never reach a consensus on with the community. The concern of the people was not so much the former bridge going, but what we replaced it with. When I got involved, John Risco had approached the, the project with this uh, idea of a stakeholders committee, and he invited everyone who had literally a stake in this project. And JDOT provided us with courses, with the context sensitive design courses, and we went and we paid attention. John Risco, the county engineer, really took to heart the training that the Department of Transportation offered in context sensitive design. He invited everyone who had literally a stake in this project. That included members of the school board, members of the elected body. I, as I mentioned, I was the county planning board member. There were members from the historical society. There were members from the local merchants. There were members from residents in the area and outside the area. Then I met John Risco of the county road department. And I found this man to be exceptional. And I'm, I mean this in every way in that he expressed from the start concern about the community. He participated in designing a bridge that was patterned very much after a very handsome bridge that existed here long ago, rather than putting some ugly interstate cement type thing. The county came to us and asked if we could host a series of meetings uh, to develop a bridge committee of stakeholders, really, who had an interest in the community, and we would meet on a regular basis. Mr. Risco came into town. He had his big uh, easel, he had his uh, flip charts, and he had his magic markers. And the meeting would start with an agenda of what he hoped to accomplish, and he would write this on the, the, uh, the with his magic markers on this uh, easel, and then he would start turning the pages as people make comments and he would make notes and he would go through books. We just went through every single item. Every person had a chance to be heard. We had three, three evening seminars. We invited in the whole general public to learn the history of not only this particular area but all of Stillwater Township. Township of Stillwater is a historical treasure to the, not only to the people who live there, to the county and to the state of New Jersey. It's a very sensitive issue in municipalities when you start to talk about historic preservation and zoning issues for historic preservation, ordinances and things like this. The education and discussion that came out of the workshops served to calm any doubts or local opposition to the idea of the historicity of the village. The roads weren't designed for modern traffic. They were designed in the 1700s. Uh, looking at ASHTO standards, we could get into up to a 40-foot wide structure or to meet a design speed of 50 miles an hour. Like I said, we would, uh, we would be taking down nearly the entire community. And I don't think it's a good idea in order to improve a neighborhood to wreck the neighborhood. We learned from a member of the Mill Trust Committee who brought in a picture of the structure that was in place previous to the one we replaced through working with the State Historic Preservation Office that we were able to come up with it with a structure that mimicked the original structure. All of the design exceptions were justified and in the end we actually have a better product and a safer product than what was originally there. And the result of this is the the township has uh, formed a historical commission. We've been successful on this project. We have a lovely new bridge as an entrance to what one day hopefully will be uh, an historic district. The county has done an tremendous job with this. You couldn't even see the kill before. I call it a tin can bridge before. You couldn't see the kill. It's a much prettier entrance uh, that this community deserves.